Hello everyone, this is Moot, and this is our Worm Unlimited server Let's Play series. In this episode, we're going to found our deed. Let's get started. First off, I went due north, just straight north from the starter town. Go ahead and come on visit. Please don't grieve or destroy the land around, but that's okay. I expect that if you're watching this, you're not that type of person. Um, we're going to found a deed. So in your inventory, you go went ahead and started with a deed stake. You need to make sure you have at least... 4.5 silver in your bank, and we'll cover that on a different episode. Um, I have about 5 silver right now from uh, selling to the merchant or selling to the salesman, and then also scavenging on rare ro rolls, you can find silver coin. Um, in order to start or found a deed, you're going to just right click on your deed stake, you're going to go to settlement, and you're going to found settlement. And it's going to come up with a settlement form. Some of this stuff is uh, insignificant and it doesn't, it's out of date be, since the deed stake was created instead of the settlement um, form. But you can go ahead and read it if you want. Essentially, it tells you that it's going to come from your bank account. You can manage your uh, permissions. Um, you need to make sure there's no, uh, no bad guys in the local area, things like that, hostile mobs. So let's go ahead and start our settlement application. And this is just going to be the regular settlement size, uh, five in each direction. You can change this. I mean, you can make it 500 if you wanted to. It all depends on how much money you actually have in your bank account at the time. We'll leave this at five because I don't have really any money in my bank account or any extra money um, to cover the deed up cost. So you want to go ahead and do survey area. Okay. And when you survey the area, you're actually going to see these little deed border stakes come out. And this is what it's telling you. This is how big your deed land is. Oh, there's a wolf hole there. Watch out. All right. So my deed land is this big. Perfect. Um, perimeter size just set uh, essentially is, you know, how far away your perimeter is or how far away someone else can uh, found a deed next to you. The purchase price of this deed of the tiles will be one silver. Uh, let's go ahead and click survey area again. We already did that, but that's okay. And it brings us to naming our deed. So we're going to make our deed name Moots Res. And, um, and uh, what's our settlement motto? An unimportant deed. Ha! Save this name. Okay, and it's telling you how many guards you want to hire. Zero. I don't really have any extra money for guards. Save the number of guards. And before you actually found your settlement, it's going to tell you that your size is 11 by 11. Uh, so 11 tiles by 11 tiles. Your purchase of these tiles is going to be one silver, and your monthly upkeep is going to be 24 copper. Now, here's the important thing. The minimum mon monthly upkeep for any, uh, any deed is always one silver so what people do is purchase enough tiles in order for the monthly upkeep here where it says your monthly upkeep uh, 24 copper it says one silver to match the minimum monthly upkeep otherwise you're just kind of losing money right um, okay and you can go ahead this will uh, the rest will go into upkeep that is insignificant that's not going to worry because that's when uh, you had to purchase a deed form Let's found our settlement. Congratulations. You have just become a mayor uh, and trusted citizen of Moore's Rest, Moot's Rest. I can't read that. Um, but anyways, there's our settlement. So thanks for watching. Um, if you want to come and um, come visit, go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and add to our upkeep in the bank while we're here. Settlement, add to upkeep. And we'll go ahead and put all of our coin in there. So we have a month. Okay. Perfect. Thanks for watching, guys.